We're here at TU 2016, the automotive show in Detroit, Michigan. Through our partnership with Rambus, we'll be demonstrating on this truck over-the-air software updates using securely signed digital packages for the installation. This consists of the Movimento OTA client running on board on an embedded module, and this OTA client has two interfaces. One can be through a mobile device like your Android or your iPhone running the Movimento client app. We're also integrated into the head unit of this truck, and you can see I have the app already up and running. I'm going to now perform a check for updates. This vehicle has two modules which will need to be updated. So having clicked this, these screens have notified the OTA client. It's performing a bus query, collecting up version information, sending that to the Movimento cloud. The cloud will perform a comparison against what is expected, and we can see that there are two modules that are needing to be updated. The first module is the powertrain module. The second module is the instrument panel cluster. At this point, the OTA client has downloaded the software for these modules, but it has not yet installed them. It's waiting for user authorization. I'm going to go ahead and authorize this to take place through the head unit. This notifies the client to begin the installation. The first step is the Rambus security step where these downloaded files are sent to Rambus wirelessly that verifies the integrity of the files. With success back from Rambus, the flash will begin. While the modules are being flashed, you can see the windshield wipers are moving. That's a default behavior during diagnostics. The cluster we can see also has gone dark while it's being programmed. The transmission has locked and we have a real-time progress bar both on the head unit and the mobile device. The flash is now finished. Transmissions return to normal, clusters back up. A bus query was re-performed by the client. The new version number is sent up to the cloud and this time the version numbers are at the proper value. So you can see the PCM now shows green, update successful. The cluster shows green, update successful. And the vehicle is now back to normal. For this demonstration, we've created a scenario where I could reflash the vehicle again. But what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna configure the cloud interface so that the updates for this vehicle are simulated to be invalid. Under these conditions, when we try to perform a reflash, we'll send these files to Rambus, and this time the Rambus system will reject those files. I'm gonna reconduct the entire demo now. Again, we're performing a bus query on the vehicle. The PCM and the instrument panel cluster are now ready to be updated. This time, when I attempt to apply these updates and we send these files to Rambus for a security check, they will now fail the security check by design. And the app now shows an update failed. This represents a scenario where somebody has slipped in unauthorized software in an attempt to get it on the vehicle. 